All right, guys, what's going on? It's another weekend. We're gonna go sleep in the woods. Um, again, sort of. This week, we're going to Willow Bay, and it's actually a spot that my buddy secured with his RV last night. The trio was in town, so I went to a concert last night, but I'm heading out to meet him this morning. It is Saturday, October 6th, um, 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. Just getting loaded up. I'm gonna shoot out his way. It's about an hour and 20 minute drive, and I'll see you when we get there. Peace. Also, just want to mention, this is Camp So You Can't Week 11, I believe. I, again, I'm going to have to go back and count and check and whatever. I, I lost track of time with all these. We're still going strong. This is camping every single weekend, at least one overnighter a week uh, since Labor Day. And my count is just one off because I actually did the weekend before Labor Day, but whatever. Been on the road for about an hour, 15 minutes or so, and I know what you're thinking. That hoodie he's wearing is really loud. And I mean, shit, well, you're not wrong. In all seriousness, though, um, it's, you know, it's the early part of November, so it's kind of into the hunting season. Great colors. So here's the toilet bowl. Can't really see it from the car, but trust me, it's there. Just passed the uh, registration booth and uh, didn't have to pay anything. So that was cool. Hemlock and Site 71 might be this way. I think we see our spot already. And he's not here. home for tonight. So yeah, I got here, and then uh, as soon as we got here, I had to run Charlie back into town for some supplies. And so we came back, so that took about an hour, but uh, we're just trying to get things kind of arranged and set up. RV camp this week. We got the Roo, and it does have power hookups. Got the axe stuck. That's Charlie. Got the axe stuck, <laughs> oh no. It's like the sword and the stone, man. You gotta get that thing out of there. That's it. Well, that's where that axe lives. Yep. At least we're not playing break my axe today. All right, guys, it's time for a frosty step two. Cheers. Like. 
It's free. I did it. I am worthy. This log's a lot of fun. Aren't you glad we found it? Yeah. Just walking along the shore here and uh, riddle me this. There's like this blue, green, what that is it's on all the rocks over there it's like it lines this whole shoreline here finally knocking willow bay off the list and we found this place last year maybe it was the year before i don't remember and we drove through it was mobs it was like summertime but it just looks so cool realize that everybody thinks it's really cool feel good that we're actually finally getting a trip in here so far on the loop that we're on, it's just those tent campers behind me and then our spot. We're the only people here other than them. Um, there's like another loop, I think. We're gonna get in the car and go drive around, check out the rest of the campground, but Willow Bay, Pfft, done. All right, we just parked the parking lot. We're gonna check out the tent camping area and uh, see what that looks like. Maybe we'll get a trip in here sometime soon. So you gotta leave your car up there at this parking lot, come down these steps, and then it's set up just like Tracy Ridge. Each campsite has a marker that says reserved, but you gotta check the date on it, and if it's not current, it's yours. So that's the staircase we just came down, and this apparently this whole area right here is one tent site. It's got two tables, big cement pad, fire ring, and then getting right on the water. If you read about this place online, there's reviews that mention bears come through here frequently. So hopefully we get to see one of those tonight. More of this green shit. I don't know what it is. So they've also got these mini cabins, a few of them in this campground. Very small. Bed and yeah. I don't know what that other thing is. That it, looks, it looks like a bunk bed on the right and then just a bed right here because the mattress is standing up on the left there. So they have electricity it looks like. Comes with a barbecue, picnic table, fire ring. Not too bad. Very small. Tiny house fat is in though, right? So Willow Bay's got a couple cabins, tent site loop, and I think two RV site. RV loops. It's got uh, actual bathroom facilities, but they're shut off now because it's cold out. But they just have a couple of these vault style toilets. <laughs> and I got smellies in there. We got party people! We're not the only idiots out here. One person had one of the cabins down there, we got the tent people, and we got us. It's the only people I've seen so far. Now we're over by the uh, boat launch area, which even with the water this low, they can still get boats out. Looks like they might even put an extender at the end there. Yeah, no shit, right? <laughs> well, my head would be underwater right now. Oh, for sure.
go up decently well. Guys, just been chilling out of camp for a little while. Staying by the fire to stay warm because it is getting chilly. We do have a thermostat thermometer. You can never say that right. Outside the camper, and I have one inside, so when we get the heat turned down, I can let you know how that's panning out. But it's gonna get cold tonight. It's cold here. It is chilly. <laughs> Right there. Almost 40. And it is 5.30. Camp till you can't, round 11 I think. If it was easy, everybody would do it. So here we are. It's chilly. Doesn't look like it in the camera, but it's getting dark. We've just reached 623-ish. And the sun has set here, because um, there's a big mountain over there, so there's no more sun. All right, so. Grab my uh, camera gear and get it inside because it's getting quite cold out. Have a couple more beverages by the fire. And then uh, when we get too sick of being cold out there and come back in here, I'll bring you back. The heater, somewhere down here I think. Oh, it's over here. Heater's kicked on. Okay. Just kicked on. So current temperature inside the RV, somewhere about 45, I'd say. I'm gonna leave this up here towards the ceiling, so obviously heat rises, so I'm gonna check that when we get back in.
It's about 30 degrees. Slept great. Just getting everything packed up. Head back home. Bills game today. Go Bills. Thanks for coming along for another episode. Until next time. Peace. I don't know if you can see, 26 degrees according to my car. Just trying to thaw everything up right now. It is freaking cold, man. I don't really pack it on. My hands are just ice. Good trip, though. Willow Bay. Done. It feels good to finally knock this campground off my list. It turns out you just gotta go when it's 26 degrees out and you can find a spot open. Go figure. To just recap, we did not end up seeing a bear. I woke up and it looks like Charlie must have had a midnight snack and sprayed uh, tomato juice all over part of the wood pile and uh, that didn't even bring one in. Probably past the season, they're probably all hibernating by now. And yeah, I don't have a front-facing flip-out screen on my camera so I can't tell that I look like shit every morning, so give me a break. Mm -hmm.